taking you in this moment. Come get close like your name. Read your aura, you are more. Do I need any more this love, you'll be your name. Release all of Pink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dollies! Hi dolls, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z, and I love to do tons of lifestyle girly pink and fragrance related content. So if that's something you are interested in, please do consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a dollette. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my new videos. All of my social media will be linked in the description box below. So now that you dolls know everything you need to know, let's go ahead and get into the video. Today we are going to be decorating my room for Valentine's Day. This is kind of like a decorate with me slash vlog style of video. I am definitely going to be trying a plethora of different video content ideas this year. So if you have any ideas, please do leave them in the comments below. Also dolls, I will be doing a Valentine's Day giveaway because I love love you dolls and I just want to show you that I appreciate you so 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 much so do be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video to get all of the details for the giveaway hey guys it's a little messy oh working messy uh I need to talk to y'all okay guys so mm, it's giving messy it's giving anxiety it's giving uh I don't want to do it my room looks a mess right now you guys if you were here you'd probably be screaming at the top of your lungs I know I told you guys I was going to give you just a blanket valentine's day room tour but I decided that I want to go ahead and walk you guys through my process because I'm not just going to be decorating for Valentine's Day in this video. I kind of changed my setup a little bit. I don't know. Some of the setup that was happening last year was great for last year. It was way for 2022, but it's not going to be so great for 2023. There's also my dressing room that I have been wanting to finish since I started it. Last year summer, I got a beaded curtain from Amazon that I want to hang try let's let's say let's we're gonna try <laughs> to hang up in my closet I'm thinking Y2K is what I'm thinking like Y2K grunge at like fur everywhere and rhinestones everywhere you know just really gaudy girly Y2K in there so one of the big projects that I really wanted to do is something to the floor and the ceiling I am not I don't think I'm gonna be able actually no I'm not gonna be able to do that in this video because it's gonna take a little bit more effort and supplies so I might do a whole separate video about doing my floor and my ceiling or you guys may see it in a TikTok but in this video today I do want to start in there as well so I want to hang up my beaded curtains which I picked up from Amazon and I also got some like wall I'll just show you guys why am I sitting here I'll show you this is like an awkward position like who told me to open up the vlog sitting down here in like this awkward whatever oh and also you guys if you guys notice I'm wearing the same thing as another video that is because I'm currently also filming my natural hair care routine so I have my natural curls out babes so that is what's happening and also I might change outfits because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be decorating on multiple days and not just one this will probably take me mm, two to three days two to three days she says a week and a half later okay so I got this off of Amazon they're just like little light switch plates and outlet plates um, I got this one to go in my bathroom it's a pink rhinestone uh, light switch plate super cute because the walls in my bathroom are like a cream color and I can't change the color Well, I could change the color in there But it would require a lot more work because there's a specific type of paint that you have to get if it's going to be in a bathroom And then I also got two Rhinestone light switch covers as well because I want to cover up the light switches by my vanity sink They're just annoying. They're just like not cute at all and they annoy me and then I also picked up some curtains, some, um, what are these? <laughs> some 
uh, beaded curtains, you guys, off of Amazon. Now, I did already open these, and I can tell you the color is fine. It's not exactly the color I wanted. It's a little bit more blue-toned, and it's a little bit more brighter than I wanted, but it's okay, and it will work. The one thing that I don't like about these curtains is that I feel like it's more of a fringe curtain and not a beaded curtain. Like, it definitely was marketed as a beaded curtain, but when it arrived, you guys, I was like, this is like a fringe curtain. But you guys, I am not mad at it. It's still cute and I feel like it'll still meet the vibes that I'm trying to create in that space. So I'm totally okay with it. I will link this in my Amazon storefront, although I kind of want to wait to see because people were like, oh, it's super tangly and hard to put up. So I kind of want to wait before I link it for you guys because what if I don't like it? Well, just know this is my first time trying it out. So you guys will find out in this video how I feel about it. But like, that's pretty much the jewels. Like, there's just a few beads on the curtain. There's not like beads all over it. There's more fringe than beads. But we're gonna try to make it work, you guys, in this video. Other than that, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything else too different in my space. I already started working on my bathroom and there's a project that I wanna do in there as well. But I'm not sure that it'll make it into this video because this video is on a time crunch. I do wanna post this on Wednesday. Hopefully, fingers crossed. The main thing I wanna do in today's video is decorate the Valentine's Day tree and just get bulk of my Valentine's Day stuff up as well. There's also maybe a little bit of cleaning and just organizing in this video as well. So this is gonna kinda be like a decorate with me slash clean with me slash you know decorate for valentine's day with me type video so i hope you guys enjoy videos like that but yeah let's go ahead and get to work and stop rambling because we all know that that is a thing that i have a problem with i will ramble your ears off i could sit here and do a whole video with just me talking not doing anything yeah let's go For the weekend, we've been breaking borders, leaving speeches. Haters talk about all us leaving teethless. Women not have slaughtered. Just want to show you guys how cute these little hearts are. They're like giant. Look how cute they are. That's so pretty. We need that. Yeah, what? Yeah, me. Yeah. ballerina shoe ornaments. done with the tree I think for now I might tweak it a little bit later on but I don't think I'm gonna be like buying any more ornaments or doing anything like that I think she looks pretty decent 
I also hung these heart ornaments over here you guys saw so pretty I just felt like they looked better hanging there um, okay so now all we have to do is the bottom and I was going back and forth on what I want to do but I think I'm just going to put down a tree skirt and I think I'm going to use these get juicy boxes and some of my purses to fill underneath there so yay let's go ahead and get into that <laughs> that was like crazy that was so freaking crazy oh my gosh i want to sit down somewhere no 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 my, what is my camera doing like what are you oh my god stop can we just can we not camera can we not i think you guys are gonna have to sit here for now you guys hey guys it's some time later, as you can obviously tell. Um, I ran out of space on both my memory cards, and then as I was cleaning off the footage from my memory cards and dumping it onto my hard drive, I realized that my hard drive was full, so then I had to go through my hard drive and delete and clear off everything on there. And once I started clearing out one or two folders, I just kept going until I cleaned and organized the entire hard drive. <laughs> so needless to say, it's some time later. Hi, let's say hi. I haven't seen you in so long, monkey. You say hi to us, your friends. Say hi to them. See, you haven't seen my friends in a while, guys. How are you? How are y'all all doing? Don't eat that, honey. Please, babe. You have treats and food. Why are you eating? Okay, I definitely need to clean tomorrow. So y'all catch me on TikTok tomorrow, babes, because I'm doing a clean with me tomorrow. I was trying to wait until I found like my pink laundry basket and like some pink cleaning supplies because I wanted to make it like an aesthetic cleaning video, which I love those. So I wanted to do that. But girl, it's it's getting it's getting so junk. It's not dirty. It's just like I don't know how to describe it, but it's like when you decorate and there's like glitter everywhere and like paper here and just like things are out of place and it's giving me so much anxiety. Anyways, I have five minutes on this camera card. Are you kidding me? I literally just dumped the footage. Did I? I probably didn't format it. Babe, don't eat that. Anyways, you guys, it's later. And uh, so that happened with the memory card. And then I also ended up having the worst cramps of my entire life. I swear to you guys, every year the cramps get worse and worse. Don't mind the TV in the background. I'm watching something. I don't even know what it is, but it's supposed to be scary. Oh my God, I had like the worst cramps and I am literally took six Tylenol because it was so bad. And I took two and it just didn't, nothing. I felt nothing. Like I just, I, nothing felt better <laughs> after two. So then I went and I was like, oh my god i need to take four more so i took four more and i feel a little bit better you guys i was about to fall asleep it's like 8 30 now i was about to fall asleep and it was like 6 30 pinky fell asleep and i was like i'm so tired and tell me why i felt like something tickling my ear and i'm like oh what is this on my ear bro like tell me why you guys I see Pinky get up all of a sudden and start following something on the floor. I'm like, what is she following? I'm like, Pinky, come here, baby. Like, what are you doing? Tell me why, you guys. It was the biggest effing spider of my freaking life, okay? The biggest spider. And I was like, oh, my God, I bet you that's what was on my ear, that I felt tickling my ear like something was on me. So I literally shook out all the, because I was on the couch watching YouTube. I literally shook out all of the pillows on the couch shook out my throat shook out everything but i went from being half asleep to now completely wide awake and like so much anxiety because i'm just scared that there's spiders everywhere 
haven't been able to sit down and relax. <laughs> just like my brain is going nuts. I started like dusting everything off and shaking everything out and I still feel like it's not going to be, I'm not gonna feel comfortable until I deep clean the entire house and that's not gonna be able to happen tonight because it's a little too late to be running the vacuum cleaner with my neighbors and stuff. That's where I'm at. So I'm wide awake and I thought I'd come in here and chit chat with you guys. We finished the tree. You guys will see it better tomorrow. It looks so cute with the lights all on. I did not go get the curtain rods for my dressing room. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Burlington the other day. I think I showed this on my TikTok. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. And I wanna show you guys, cause why not? Um, this is a decorate with me video, but it's also a, a vlog, so. I'm just kind of combining everything together. It was like some crazy, cheesy, scary movie. Okay, I have one minute left now, so let's see what we can do. So first off, I went to Burlington. I got two packs of razors, but I already used those earlier because your girl is hairy and she needed to shave. But first thing I got, and it's actually going back tomorrow. Bless you, babe. Is this Dove Invisible Care um, like liquid deodorant spray? I got this because I needed new deodorant and I just thought the packaging was cute, right? Little cute little pink lid, very cute, right? So I did the haul on TikTok and the dolls on TikTok like let me in on a little secret. Well, it's not really a secret because it's all over the freaking internet. It pretty much went viral on Twitter and now it's going viral on TikTok as well. This caused lumps under women's arms. There are tons of women and I believe there's gonna be some type of lawsuit against Dove there are tons of women reporting that lumps grew underneath their arms. If you guys know anything about it, please comment below and let me know what the deal is that. Like, what is that? The girl who had hers removed said that they told her that it was breast tissue. I don't know. I just, I don't want any more titties than the ones I already have. So it, it needs to go back, babe. Okay. Also picked up this tote that I had seen but didn't grab it, went back and grabbed it. This was $5.99, a super cute for like shopping and just even going to like a Pilates class or a fitness class. Not that I currently go to any of those, but I'm planning on getting back into it this year. Also picked up these Juicy Couture flip flops, super cute dolls. This was $9.99. I'm doing a huge Juicy haul here soon. So these are gonna actually be a part of that haul. So maybe I shouldn't show them to you. Well, you guys are gonna see them again in that haul, so just FYI. 23 minutes, I'll take it. Okay guys, so I'm back now, <laughs> clearly. Um, I forgot to format the camera, so, or the memory card, so the footage was still on the memory card, so. Anyways, and then I think I showed you guys, oh, oh, oh! Literally my uterus is about to explode right now. Anyways, <clears throat> suck it up. We are strong women, okay? We can do it, okay? Men don't have to just go about their day while they're bleeding out of their, you know, penises with pain and headaches and nausea, but <gasps> women do it. Anyways, I got this cute tote. Love it because look at all that animal prints. I love cheetah print. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I love cheetah print. I have a lot of things like old things in cheetah print because they stopped coming out with cheetah print stuff until recently. But love the heart on that. I feel like even after Valentine's Day, this is gonna be cute to just wear all the time or use all the time. It's not like, it doesn't say be my Valentine on it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The next thing that I picked up is this little wallet. I was actually browsing the wallet section for you guys because I, okay, you guys remember when I did my last giveaway for Christmas, I found that cute juicy wallet with the heart on it. And I had been wanting that wallet for myself, but I gifted it to you guys because I love y'all, okay? I love y'all, that's why. And I haven't been able to find that wallet since, so I can just kind of checking the wallet section every time I'm in Burlington or Ross just to see if they have it. But also, I decided that I wanted to do a like Valentine's Day gift basket. Let me let me rephrase that. A Valentine's Day gift basket for you guys. What are you doing? 
<laughs> what are you doing? You guys, Pinky is literally trying to climb inside the bag right now. Honey, what are you doing? Stop it. You're being ridiculous. You're cute as f though. Um, anyways, I checked the wallet section because I was looking also to get like the heart-shaped juicy wallets. I saw them before. There used to be so many of them. Like no one was buying them, at least not at my Burlington. And then, honey, I need you to be quiet, babe. I know you like the paper. Honey. <laughs> Come here. What is it? You like the paper? What about your toys? You want to go play with your toys? Those bore you. But back to what I was saying. Okay, so there's these heart-shaped juicy wallets. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them, but they were like out around Christmas time. There were so many of them. And I was like, okay, these will be really cute for like valentine's day around valentine's day or whatever and nobody was buying them up and i was kind of shook because i was like these are cute and at the time i was just kind of like i'll come back for them i don't really know what i want them for or need them for so i'll come back if they're still here then i'll pick one up you guys tell me why i can't find one heart-shaped juicy wallet the one i want is the lavender one and i wanted to put it in a giveaway for you guys for my valentine's day gift basket and I haven't been able to find it. So anyways, I was searching the wallet section and I saw this and I picked it up and I was like, oh my God, that print is cute. It's a Betsy wallet. It was, how much? $6.99. I just thought the print was cute for spring. I was like, that's really pretty. And then the best part, you guys, is the zipper is a pair of lips and I was like oh my god that just that sealed the freaking deal I mean without this it was kind of questionable I was kind of like I don't know if I want to get it or not but when I saw those lips I was like she's coming home with me if I can't find anything else for you guys this might be in your giveaway I don't know how was this all $45 hold on I how where did $45 okay so last thing I got is this mug Camera's kind of crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> Last thing I got is this mini mug. Super cute. $4.99. I couldn't. Do I need any more mugs? No. I don't need any more mugs. But I needed this one, you guys. I needed this one because when I saw it, I was like, you know what? Should I get it? I picked it up and put it down like a million times. And they had like so many of this particular print in the pink. And they had like other characters. I think they had like a Mickey and then not Donald Duck. I think it was like a Goofy or a different one. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. But then when I looked closely, I noticed that it was not just mini because I have no mini mugs, you guys. And by the way, I am a huge Disney fan, but I'm more of like Disney princess fan. I'm not like Disney character fan, but I do love Mickey and Minnie. And so I saw this and I was like, mm, I don't have a mini mug. I should get a mini mug. And then I looked closer and I was like, oh my God, that is a vintage mini. I had to freaking get vintage mini. And look, it says mini down there. Isn't that so cute, you guys? T with Z. I know I keep telling y'all I'm gonna do my T with Z episode. It's just the first episode, I mean, the first video just did not do that well, to be quite honest with y'all. So I have to be very strategic this year and really think about where I wanna place what content. And the T with Z, it might be, uh, something that goes on my my other page my Zuri Hadia page because I just feel like the dolls here you guys can get my life updates in a vlog you don't need my life update in like a sit down form you know what I'm saying I just need to update you guys more in vlogs but do it more on a quicker pace or maybe if I vlog like I'm supposed to I don't have to update y'all that much Anyways, this has been a fun little tiny chat <laughs> and it's now time for me to go to bed because the plan is to get up bright and early tomorrow. I have a lot to do because I didn't do what I was supposed to do today. Um, the tree is finished, which was the big project. We need to do the nightstands tomorrow. We need to do the little vanity table tomorrow and then we need to hit the dressing room which the dressing room there's not a lot that I'm gonna do outside of hanging those curtains and switching out the light switch covers and just that's pretty much it oh and then I need to clean up in there like I need to take all of the Christmas stuff this because there's it's not Christmas stuff that's up it's just sitting on the floor because I haven't put it in its bin yet and stored it away so we need to do that tomorrow and then I also need to film a clean with me because I need to clean desperately so I'm like why not film it so I'm gonna film that for TikTok tomorrow and what else do I need to do I need to edit this 
not this video. I need to edit my hair video because I have a hair video going up tomorrow, which is Monday. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Link in the description. Um, or it might be on the screen. One of those places. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. But I want to pop in and have a little quick chit chat because I know I haven't really been doing the vlogs lately. And so I want to have like vlogging segments in my in my other videos. So I'm happy we had this little chat, this little catch up. Um, I'm going to see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning to finish decorating. And then we're going to do a nice little cute tour. And I'm going to show you guys everything. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Why am I wearing a Christmas shirt, y'all? I need somebody to help me, seriously. I need a designer or something. Oh, shoot. I am breaking. I need to go to bed. That's what I need to do. <sighs> mean Girls Christmas tea. Go get you some. Gang, gang. It's a chicken salad. I'm tired. Y'all can see I'm tired. I need to go. Um. Let's go, Bumpkin. Let's get out of here. There's too many things to knock over and get hurt. Come on, honey. Hey, guys. Okay, so it's clearly a different day. It's like two days later or something like that. I don't know. From the day that I talked to you guys, I literally um, could not do anything in the room yesterday. I just had so many other things to get done, and I wanted to focus on editing my hair video that's going up today. Um, so I still have a few things to do for that because it took Final Cut Pro all day yesterday to literally upload the files. Anyways, I just got back from... Hi, baby. Hold on, honey. You guys are probably like, Z, why are you back on here looking like a hot mess when you said that you weren't going to do that anymore? I just got back from Burlington and Ross. And the funny thing is, <laughs> I joke that like my cardio every day is literally walking to Burlington and Ross and walking back home. That's actually a problem. That's like not good. But I went to Burlington and Ross to get the extension rods that I needed. And I'm gonna use these to hang the beaded curtains in this dressing room. You guys, of course, I was looking for white. I only found one in white at Ross. These were pretty inexpensive. They were $7. And the ones that I was looking for on Amazon were pretty around like $20 per rod. So I'm happy that I found these for seven at Ross. Um, but the only thing is, is I couldn't find two white. So I ended up getting this like light gray color. They had the light gray and then they had like a charcoal gray and the black and I just couldn't do either of those. And I feel like the curtain part should be able to cover the color of the rod pretty well. If it bothers me that much, I'll go back and return it and exchange it out or I'll end up paying one of this rod. I'm sorry, you guys, I look like gutter, but like these old people, they know what's up. They got it right. They get out and they start shopping early i'm so happy i literally got at ross a little bit before they opened granted there was a lot of people out there waiting for it to open but the store was so organized like it was so easy to shop when you go there super super early also there's not as many people there's still a lot but not as many um okay so i got those two rods and i got more stuff i'm gonna show you guys right now actually because i have them here hi baby Okay, so got more things because I cannot walk into Burlington or Ross and just walk out. I can't do it. But what I will say is I had a list and I kind of stuck to it for the most part. I got majority of things that I needed and like a few extra stuff that I didn't need. Hold on one second, you guys. Sorry, Pinky loves to drink water out of the sink. I'm going to get her a, I think I told you guys it's in a vlog, but maybe not. I want to get her a water fountain bowl for her birthday so she can stop begging and drink out of the sink anyways uh okay so yeah i got that from ross and then i got two pink hoodies because i couldn't decide which one and i need more hoodies and sweatshirts because i realized that the ones that i have are all like stained or ripped or just old or like even this one i don't know if you guys can see but there's like paint on the sleeve because i love to wear hoodies when i'm like doing projects and things like that so yeah i just needed some more hoodies and i found this one at ross and i loved what it said on the back it says choose happiness let your dream be your wings I just thought that was so dope. I love the art on it. And then down the arm sleeve, it has some, 
some design. It says choose happiness on the arm sleeve. I just thought that was really cute and it was only $14. So I thought that was good because I normally pay like 25 to 40 bucks for a hoodie. So I thought that was pretty nice. It feels pretty thick too inside. It doesn't feel like, well, it could be. It is kind of cheap, I feel, but not too cheap. The next one I got says on the front, every day is a new adventure. And I just thought, I love the sayings on these, you guys. That's why I got it. And I have seen this before. It might be in like a vlog. It might be on my TikTok vlog. But I had seen this before and I passed on it. But then I went ahead and picked it up because I was in the market for a hoodie. And look at the art on this. I did not see the art on this the first time. So I just thought that that was like really pretty with the butterfly. You guys know I love butterflies. And then I got some sponges. These are the scrub sponges, but these are no scratch from multi-surfaces. So the sponges that I have are those scotch ones that are really, really rough and I don't want to scratch every single surface. I want some sponges where I can kind of scrub without scratching a surface. So I got these. These were only $3.99, you guys. Also, this is the main reason why I got it. It's like in my favorite pink color. I do have the other scotch sponges that are pink, but they're not this color pink, baby. <laughs> so I'm going to use these to clean my room and then I'm going to use these for the rest of the house, the purple and the blue. Last thing I picked up from Ross that I'm going to put on my hands today, probably tonight, are these nails. They're just some cute little press-ons with hearts. I ran out of my press-ons and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to re-up on press-ons. You guys, I need to do a massive beauty shopping spree. I'm running out of all of my beauty care products, all of them. All of my hygiene products I'm running out of, which is great because my goal for this year is to use up all of my old products. So that's great, but I'm gonna have to go on a massive like shopping spree soon but yeah i just got these for a video that i'm doing and then i got this um juicy couture rhinestone over the door hook because then the entryway there's like this coat closet and i really want to hang my like bags and purses on the inside of it and i tried to use the command hook but it fell down so i thought maybe i could try this i don't know though because the door seems really tight so i don't know if it'll fit in there if not i'll end up returning it but it was only 4.99 so i thought that was really good you guys ross and burlington for household stuff a1 from burlington was just a pair of sweatpants um it was only 8.99 i thought these were cute i love the two-toned giving me very much joker i don't know i just really love it and i love the font on it it kind of looks like the old school juicy font but it's not it has like a flame i'm not a fan of like all the the, the prints like the flame the alien head all that you could leave that off i like the rose though and i also liked the butterfly and yeah the lightning bow it's kind of cool some of it's kind of cool i'm just not a fan of like the alien head i didn't need that on there we could have we could have done without that but i just thought it was really cute this was in a size small i should have found an extra small but i just didn't see it and i was so impatient i just wanted to get in and out of the store so yeah, I got that. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish putting the final touches on my hair video. Make sure that that goes up. It's ready to go seamlessly. The uh, <laughs> ambulances are here in the background. So we know it's time to go. I haven't eaten anything today. I literally got up and was like, okay, Zuri, focus, focus, focus. My period put me out for two days and I was like, I am not doing that today. So I got up, went to the store, did what I needed to do. I need to put some food in my stomach, make sure that that video for YouTube is ready to go. And then we're gonna come back and do some decorating and cleaning. Okay, love you guys and I'll see you in the next clip. Pinky loves you too. She's just a little brat, don't you? Say hi, mom, peoples, my moms. She's buying a lot of stuff. It's not good. It's not good. She's changing our room around again. Okay, bye guys. you guys can clearly see 
um it's orange in here i'm so sorry i hate this about my room but it's just kind of the way it is let me see if i can like change the lighting for a second okay so yeah that did make a big difference i just closed the blinds up it's kind of sad because it's dark in here um to you guys it looks good on camera but inside of my room it's like it's so nice and bright outside but i can't have the sun in here because it makes everything look orange and it also damages my furniture which i started realizing my bed my pink velvet bed started changing colors um, a few of my pillows the sun really does damage your furniture and things guys so be careful about that yay we are back on another day and as you guys can see i am doing much better i think the last time i spoke with you guys i was freaking out of it i was going through it i had just got my period and it's literally just the next day actually <laughs> that was yesterday um was that yesterday no, it was the day before yesterday because yesterday we went to Burlington and Ross to pick up some more materials that we need to finish my room. So that's all we did yesterday. We literally did not do anything else. I think I, I moved a few things around in my room, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, but nothing, girl. We didn't really do anything. You guys can see I was a hot mess. Like, and of course, I am still a hot mess. Um, I just have my hair back. Don't mind me, you guys. I have like pimple cream all over my face because I have been breaking out like none other on my period this month like I normally get a few breakouts but I have been breaking out like a 13 year old girl you guys like look at this I have I had two right here that started healing and then right underneath each one another one popped up and I'm talking about thick supple white heads like i like where's this coming from the one on my nose and the one on my chin popped up this morning and then this one on my face was here yesterday this one is like ready to burst at any moment it's a white head as well and then i had another white head under here that actually burst last night and so i just treated them today because i didn't want to put anything on it when it was like an open sore um but that is not what this video is about this video is about decorating so it's like a decorating vlog you guys so I am gonna incorporate some like chit chatting and stuff like that because it's a vlog but we're decorating if that makes sense I am drinking my tea in my mini mug you guys I love her I'm having just some black tea with cream Ooh, it's really good but it's also very 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 hot so I'm gonna let that chill for a little but anyways oh, Zuri oh my god you guys I think I have ADHD or something I think I do. I think I'm going to go get tested for it. I really seriously think I have it. And I think it's only gotten worse since social media and TikTok. TikTok has definitely made it worse. Like, and Pinterest a little bit. Just social media in general. You just keep going down the rabbit hole. Like, in my brain, I, can, I, have, I cannot pay attention to one thing at a time. Anytime I'm doing something, I have to be doing something else at the same time. For instance, if I am working on something on my computer, I have to have the TV, I have to have YouTube on, or the TV on, or music on. I have to have something on. I can't just do one thing at a time. There has to be something else going on. Or I have to be on my phone, or I have to have, I just have to have multiple things happening at once. Why? Why am I like that? Anyways, um, we are sitting by the nightstand because we are going to be decorating this nightstand first. And I kind of took most of the Christmas decor off, but not really. I still want to utilize these trees because, you guys, I am not going to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on Valentine's Day decor when my Christmas decor is all pink. You know what I mean? So... I feel like I can turn these pink trees into Valentine's Day trees. I have a few ribbon. I have a few little things I feel like I can glue on them to make them look more Valentine's. Honestly, this looks like a Valentine's tree. Like, it has pearls, velvet ribbon on it. Like, all it needs, honestly, is a bow. Also, you guys, let me just show you this. Since this is a Decorate With Me vlog, I might as well show you. Oh my god my room is so dark look at who i brought back out i brought my little elf on the shelf back out i just thought he was so cute and i was like what if i gave him like a heart or something to hold so i ended up giving him this like little cookie that look at him is he not valentine's day now so cute 
So pretty much that is the one updated thing that I did in my room thus far. I really haven't done anything else. Yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and get started. So my goal for today is to complete the nightstands. We did the dresser last night and today my goal is to hang some candles in the chandeliers and then I also want to complete the vanity table and actually we need to just complete everything today so we're gonna be up all night mind you i did not go to bed last night until 4 a.m in the morning because i drank a celsius you guys celsius had me wired and also there was an earthquake if you guys live in california did you feel that girl i felt that i was like even pinky felt it because we were both sitting on the couch watching tv and pinky jumped up so yeah, my little pink hot gun. Isn't she so cute? I need a new one because she's like really dirty. Can you guys see how nasty she is? So I've seen the heavy duty glue guns and I think they're they're super cool. But it's like, girl, what are you trying to do? Glue a house together? Ew, look at how pretty. It's so pretty. Look at how cute is that ribbon. Oh my gosh. It looks so much more Valentine's Day with... guys so for placement I think we just need to clean everything off so dolls I don't know if I told you this before if you follow me on TikTok, you probably already know but there is a pink light bulb in here I did buy it off of Amazon and it's linked on my Amazon storefront on the camera it looks orange and red but I promise you in person it looks like hot pink I still kind of like these trees I still feel like they're giving me um, Valentine's Day vibes so I don't really want to take these down but I have to figure out how what I want to do for a placement <music> Know, you guys I'm gonna take a break for this and then I'm gonna come back when I feel like I have something concrete You guys remember that? That's from Babe. I have Lindsay Hughes on in the background. Oh my god. Look at how bad my skin is. You know what, you guys? It's just not from my period. It's also because I've been taking biotin. I believe. But I have to use it up. It's almost gone anyway. Once it's gone, I'm not buying it anymore. I'm going to start buying collagen peptides instead. Um, 
but I found these candles you guys they're pink and they're squiggly and I remember these I forgot I had them I don't know where I can use them but I think they're really pretty and I want to put them out just for decor in general not just for Valentine's Day so I don't know I'm gonna look for a spot with this nail polish rack I think eventually I'm gonna remove it because I just hate the way it looks or I'm gonna end up having to DIY the caps on them because I just hate all of the mismatch caps the black the white the silk it's just driving me crazy against this wall anyways I want to do something to this top shelf and I have a few plaques but I'm not sure which one I want to use. Here are the two plaques that I have. I have this one which was in my entryway which is the perfect pink because it's like a mauve muted pink in my entryway. But then I also have this one that I got from like the Dollar Tree or 99 cents only store for only 99 cents. And it's cute but it's giving like it's giving childish, but I mean Valentine's Day that I mean that's pretty much the vibe. It's childish. So I kind of like I don't I don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna show you guys both of them. Okay hey guys, so that is what the um the Mwavi one kind of looks like. It doesn't look bad against the wall, at least not in the nighttime, because I'm filming this at night. So that's what it looks like, like with everything else oh this one is so much brighter though i don't know like it doesn't look bad at night either what do you guys think is it like too bright i don't know i kind of like it I'm so confused i'm so torn you guys which one would you choose i don't know you guys i have this heart-shaped rose quartz stone that my sister gave me with a love candle for Christmas last year and I thought it would be cute to hang it up here. So here's the next problem dolls. I have these brushes that are supposed to go somewhere up here but I don't have any more space and I don't want to move anything because I like the way everything looks right now. So I'm going to try to squeeze it in over here but I don't know because I also have like these are my tools so I'm like I need these on my vanity to like do it. I guess you guys will see tomorrow like what I decide like how I do it because 
tonight i just don't know if i can come up with an answer these little tea light candles i'm gonna add two of them in here these smell so good too by the way you guys the scent is tea cake tart and it does smell like a tea cake and it looks like a rose i think i'm just gonna snip them right in there yeah cute it's so cute you guys i guess we're gonna see tomorrow on this um because i cannot decide right now so i guess you guys will see tomorrow in the tour what it ends up looking like really quick you guys i wanted to share with you guys this ritual love candle that my sister made me she makes candles she has her own etsy shop but she made me this love candle for christmas last year and i thought it was so cute um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Can you see the sparkle on that? It's so gorgeous and it smells so freaking good. I swear to you, it smells like gummy bears, but I'm not going to be burning this. I'm just going to be keeping it and using it for decor in my home. This is the name of her shop in case you guys are interested in buying a candle. She sells on Etsy. <laughs> There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight gonna try to hang this right now we're gonna see let's go no you guys pinky stop pinky pinky no these are not for babies You guys, what the fork? Oh my god, I look horrible, but my room looks cute. <laughs> oh my god, I am. Oh my god, I love it. The only thing is, Pinky's. I'm afraid Pinky's gonna rip it down. Um, I don't want her to pull, pull, pull on the strings, and then the rod comes down. So I tried to do it as tight as I could. But let me show you guys. Let me show y'all. This is so freaking cute, you guys. Pinky's down there. She's pulling them apart. But look at them, you guys. Okay, it's not what I wanted, which is that beautiful, shiny bead. You know what I mean? Like a bunch of beads, like diamonds. But you guys, it's still cute. The fringe is cute. I mean, it's giving. It's a vibe. It's a whole... Y'all, that's a whole vibe in this video y'all 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 <laughs> i look a hot mess i need to get off the camera i'm so happy i put these up okay it was perfect it worked really good the only thing i will say is you can kind of see the rod a little bit but i love that they have like this thick mesh um part because i feel like that covers majority of the rod so the gray one, you really probably won't really see that much of. I do, again, wish it was white. I kind of, should I go back to Ross tomorrow, you guys, before I put this up? And just see if they have a white one? I don't know, you guys, but I'm obsessed with this. But I need to switch out memory cards because we literally have one minute left on this camera card. So... Look at how pretty, you guys. I just really wish that there was more of these, like the beads. There's not a lot of beads at all. So I will link this on my Amazon storefront. They had so many colors. I think they had like seven different colors. Okay, I have to go now. It's blinking at me. Zero minutes left. I will see you guys in the next clip.
make you all day Read your aura, you want more of all this love You'll be your name, release all of your burden It's in me, you'll be searching Take a load off and your clothes off Just relax, you deserve it this other bin so I just wanted to show you guys that I put my lashes inside of it um, I thought this was perfect to store my lashes in because you know how the boxes can be all over the place and now I have them all in one spot super cute with the little hearts of course I got this from the 99 cents only store Okay dolls, we are in my dressing room. Now typically if you've watched any of my other room tour videos, then you know that I typically start my tour in my bedroom and then we move into my dressing room and my bathroom. But just thought it's 2023, let's switch it up babes and start out in the dressing room and then we're gonna move into my bedroom. Oh, let me just mention what I am wearing. Uh, this dress, I believe I got it from Ross last year. It is a little big on me as it is a medium, so it is kind of falling at the, you know, you girl, your girls are trying to fall, come out. But girl, we got it. We're gonna keep it cute. Also, I am wearing the socks. You guys probably see it in the mirror these long socks because it is freezing in my house. Here's the necklace. If you guys follow me on TikTok or if you watch any of my hauls, then you know that I got this from Fashion Cues. But yeah, that is it. Let's go ahead and get into the tour. I'm gonna start from out here just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like standing in my room as we enter you guys I'm just gonna show you Valentine's Day stuff and any new decor I'm not gonna show you like stuff you've already seen before in previous videos now if you dolls have any questions about anything I do not mention in this video please leave it in the comments below and also check my decorating playlist these slippers with the hearts are from Victoria's Secret you guys already saw these so many times to your left 
these beaded curtains. You guys saw me hang these last night. So gorgeous. My only complaint about these curtains is that there's not many of the jewels on them. Then right here on this corner, there's like a little tack hanging up there. It's just my beaded purse that I got from Dolls Kill a long time ago. It's super cute. I did see that Marshalls and TJ Maxx has beaded purses kind of similar to this for Valentine's Day. So if you guys want a more affordable option, do check them out. But it's super cute and I just have it hanging from this tack. I just thought it looked really pretty by the beaded slash fringe curtain. And I just love it. Trying to give a Valentine's Day touch without being overly dumb. Hi Pinky! Hello! She's taking her nap so we don't want to mess with her. I'm just gonna turn off the light you guys because the LED light does create lines over here and I hate it. It drives me crazy when I'm editing so we're gonna do the rest of the tour in the dark which I kind of love. I feel like it just gives it much more of a cozy vibe in this room. Um, so you guys have already seen this chair. All I did was add the pink Hello with the heart and then a gnome you guys I hate gnomes I am so over gnomes but literally they do kind of come in handy when you want to add a pop for decor but you don't know what you want to do so I just kind of threw him there I don't know if he'll stay but this pillow is from home goods I believe last year it's so pretty I love all of the beads on it I just think it looks so cute and moving up to my shelf you guys so pretty okay so down here you guys know I love to hang things here I just have some of my earmuffs here I have two pink ones and a white one I just have this little envelope thingy that came from Hobby Lobby and I just stuck some of my lip glosses in it I kept the fawn from Christmas and I just added this really pretty um, heart ribbon around the neck I have these two canisters the one on the bottom is from Target dollar spot a long time ago and the one on the top is from 99 cents only store then we're up on to the top of the shelf I have this house that I got from Target for I believe five dollars super cute I just add some fairy lights inside of it and then I kept some of my pink trees up from Christmas, of course. And then this little pink truck is from Hobby Lobby. I added my beauty blenders in the back of him and I just think this is so freaking cute. But yeah, I think the shelf came out pretty cute. Swinging around, we have my vanity sink here. Not a lot changed. I tried to keep everything pretty set the way that it was because I liked my setup. I just wanted to change things to be more Valentine's Day. So you guys may notice from Christmas I took down the gumdrops I wanted to leave them up so so bad but they had to come down babe so I just added a candle on top of the candle stand you guys saw me decorate this candle stand in my Christmas video so I won't go over that I left some of the pink trees out that I felt looked very Valentine's Day ish and then I added these heart um, bath fizzers these smell so good you guys and they're from the Dollar Tree like can you believe here I have this little like serving tray and I keep like some of my extra things that I use a lot of and I don't want to necessarily store it away underneath the cabinet plus I don't have space underneath the cabinet so just kind of keep it up here I also have my uh, wallflower here this is just a flower a wallflower as you guys can see I've had this for a long time I don't have it plugged in currently because I am burning this Bath and Body Works candle and I just don't want too many scents in here especially because Pinky sleeps and she's taking her nap right now underneath this chair right here by the plug-in and the candle so I just don't want too many scents around her I went ahead and added like some of my like heart valentine shaped or themed makeup here and I just have this blush by Colourpop super cute this is in the color text me it's so pretty but it is very 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 bright of course you guys I have to have the Bath and Body Works candle out what would my my space be without it um this is the sprinkle birthday cake i absolutely love this scent this is rainbow sprinkles vanilla frosting and fluffy cake so delicious i left up my nutcracker couple i just think this looks super cute for valentine's day i also added these little tea light candles that i got from michael's you guys already saw my haul of these these smell really good but i actually am not gonna burn them i'm just gonna leave them out you guys also saw me put up my little te amo dish i got this from the 99 cent only store 
years ago you guys now I can't even remember and I just put my face roller and my gua sha on here okay and then on this tray where I keep my toothbrush and all of my tooth accessories there's only really my toothbrush in there because I do keep a lot in these drawers down here. I never really show you guys what's in my drawers or my cabinets when I do my tours. Would you guys want to see that? Like, do you do you guys want to really get nosy and see what's inside of my cabinets, my drawers, and my closet? Comment that below. Um, but anyways, I have this Kiss Me sign. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from Marshalls. Oh, Home Goods, and it was only $4.99. I got that last year. And then I added some more of the bath fizzers around it and I just think it looks so pretty and again those fizzers smell so freaking good. Then I just switched out my winter soap for this boardwalk vanilla cone soap. I'm almost out of it and you guys I am focusing on using up all of my products this year so I have of course my Victoria's Secret Tease Sugar Fleur. Um, hand lotion here for after I wash my hands. This is like one of my favorite Valentine's Day scents. If you guys haven't seen it, I did post a video of all of my favorite Valentine's Day scents. So check that video out. And then this side of my vanity sink is the same as the other side. You guys will know this. I'm always doing like balance. And that's pretty much it. We have my bathroom door. I left out the trees, as you guys can see. I felt like they looked very, very Valentine's Day, especially with the bows on them. And then I just added these furry, darker pink trees. I feel like this color pink, the dark pink, looks a lot um, more Valentine's Day than like the light pinks did. And then I also have some lingerie, you guys, just hanging on my doorknob. I got this lingerie set actually from Victoria's Secret years ago when I used to work there. So unfortunately, they don't carry it anymore. And it was a limited edition. It was so beautiful. Look at all the embroidered bows on the top with a bow in the middle. And I have this ornament. I believe I got this from, I want to say Hobby Lobby. And it's just this really cute sparkly heart. It's so pretty on my door. Here's just the overview of the door. You guys have already seen the bags. If you guys want a bag collection video, let me know. And I'll do that for you. And then we're going to move over here. And this is just my accessories wall, you guys. I don't have anything really Valentine's Day over here because I didn't decorate this wall for Valentine's Day. I still plan on doing something with LED lights. I did have some string lights here and Pinky chewed them up because it's really the string lights that she chews up. It's not the flat LED. So I'm thinking I might get flat LED strips to hang underneath there. I think that will be cute. Let me know you guys' suggestions in the comments below. But just on the floor, in case you haven't seen this before, I have my little house shoes. I just have some of my favorites out here. And then I have like my wallets and bags. You guys have seen this, all of this. Headbands. The only Valentine's Day thing I can say that's probably over here is like the Juicy Couture heart stuff that I have out and the Betsy heart. And then I also have my like cutie pie keychain that's a heart so freaking cute you guys love that i also have like some heart shaped sunglasses out but that's pretty much it i'm still kind of working on this corner um and just working on like getting it looking cute but this is what it is for now and then moving over i have this little basket i'm using this basket to store all of my house shoes and slippers I am newly collecting slippers now. I have been obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with slippers and mugs and bags and a plethora of things, but my new obsession has become slippers. So I felt like I needed a place and I felt like this was the perfect place. I only have three in there right now and some slipper socks, but it's because I have a few of my others already out. I do plan on filling this basket completely full with slippers. And guys, the one thing I love about this, if my mirror is dirty, I can literally cover it up, especially in videos, because you guys, I cannot tell you how many times I wash these mirrors and no matter how many times I wash them, they still come out dirty. So to just be able to have something that I can just go, whoop, <laughs> you know, and cover it up, to me, that is just so freaking cool. I'm obsessed with these curtains. I'm so happy I got them. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm thinking of adding some here. You guys let me know, should I add some there or no? Okay dolls, so that is pretty much my entire dressing room. I live this life while 
you this toy fight Put my money where my mouth is and I keep it solid Speaking of my name and I just can't allow it Working in the tent to the whole team is bothered Okay, dolls, let's head into my bedroom. I am standing at my double doors. So here are my double doors. You guys have seen this before. You've seen me DIY these doors so many times on TikTok. Um, so all I have that's new here is this little bag that I got from Marshalls. I believe I hauled this on TikTok. Again, shameless plug. But I just thought it was super cute, springy, and also just added a cute little flair for Valentine's Day, you guys. I moved this ottoman over to this corner. You guys know this used to be in front of my bed it may go back there at some point but right now I really do love it in this corner um, I just think it looks really pretty and it adds a cute little touch and I can sit on it right before I leave oh by the way this is the DIY that I did like years ago honestly it looks almost the same as as the ones I bought from Amazon only I didn't cut it right <laughs> but other than that have some cushions on the floor I love to like sit on these little cushions and stuff and do my makeup at the window here or just watch YouTube on my phone it's just a cute little place to like squat and Pinky also loves sitting on them so I just have them out on the floor so dolls here is the tree this is my Valentine's Day tree I just try to add as many hearts and things to it but as you can see it kind of does have a theme um, Juicy Couture because I love Juicy Couture and I knew no one else was going to do this. And I just love being different and I am obsessed with Juicy and I thought why not add this Juicy bow in here so I had some Juicy ribbon that I added. This sign is from Hobby Lobby last year. I stuck that in there. It's just kind of Valentine's Day hearts kisses roses anything that's valentine's day in pink is what i put on here i'll show you guys a few of my favorites these ornaments i got from the 99 cents only store last year i actually wish i had more of them because i feel like there's not enough on this tree this is another favorite from hobby lobby my gummy bears down here i really do like that i have the eiffel tower of course paris love some more ballet shoes um, of course, these are one of my favorites from Hobby Lobby. Some more ballet shoes. If you guys don't know you're new here, I am a dancer. Or I used to be a professional dancer. Now I just do it for commercial work. Um, and then I have some flowers. Got these little pieces in a pack. I think of like six. I think they came with like two kisses, two hugs, and two XOs, XOs. So I got those and I just kind of set them in the tree. There's another hugs super cute um i got these like little ray dunn ornaments last year so pretty and then i kept like my coffee mug starbucks ornaments here because i feel like i mean i feel like it matches it's pink and it's easy oh these are actually tags from my sugar thrills clothes that i purchased i love the brand sugar thrills so i just added them onto the tree because they're shaped like a heart at the bottom, I did add some of my Juicy Couture shoe boxes and a few of my Juicy Couture purses that I thought fit the vibe just to make it look cute and tie in with the Juicy Ribbon at the top. I think it came out really cute. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like all lit up. I like too many around me. I like too many around me. Bro, I never trip. Bit smoke, put a drum on that stick. She went to that went down with her shit like you. And see, I came with a children. Oh, I wanna get so uh, that was the Valentine's Day tree, you guys. So you may have noticed I moved my dresser that used to be in this corner to put my Valentine's Day tree here, and I think it goes perfect. And I moved the dresser in this corner, which is where my tree used to be. So that's something new, you guys. Also, I added onto this little scones here these pretty sparkly heart ornaments i just think it looks really cute for valentine's day i've had this rose hanging here for a while i might remove it because i actually don't like the green leaves it just ugh, it throws me off but i really do like these and these were from hobby lobby moving over to my dresser you guys this dresser is so cute it is a little bit crowded but that's just how my decor is i'm not a minimalist decorator clearly you guys can tell that i am definitely a maximalist i will use the maximum amount of space possible 
if it looks cute. Like, I really don't care. A snow globe, you guys saw me haul this, I think. No, I keep saying you guys saw me haul this, but honestly, I think this may have been in a vlog and I never released the vlog. I might release it, but I believe I got this from Marshalls. Yeah, I got this from Marshalls. Really cute. Of course, I wish she was a chocolate baby, but it's okay. She's a dancer and she matches my theme. But this little tree, it's from Hobby Lobby. So freaking cute. I could not believe I was able to get my hands on it. I really thought that this would sell out and it didn't. I got my hand on it. I'm so happy. And then I also kept another Christmas tree up. But you guys, I added some ribbon and a bow on top and the ribbon has hearts all over it. And I did that to just kind of give it a Valentine's Day vibe. So you guys see what I'm doing? Like, I'm not investing a whole bunch of money into buying new decor. I'm just taking what I have and kind of transitioning it into each season. But I did end up bringing my three tier tray in here and I'm putting all of my overflow perfumes on this tray or maybe the ones that I use the most here. I think it's super cute. I did tie a bow on top but you guys already saw that in previous videos. I also went ahead and added my women's body candle on the side because I think it's sexy for Valentine's Day. Yeah, and that was my dresser, you guys. Now moving over, I did take the snowflakes off of the mirror, but I forgot to clean off all of the frost residue. So I'm gonna clean that off when I do my clean with me video. And then right here on my benches, I added these roses. I got these roses from, where did I get these from? They're from Marshalls, I wanna say. Okay, I believe these are from Marshalls. They're on clearance and they're by Martha Stewart. They were $8. And you guys, I love them because they look so effing real. Like, don't they look real, you guys? So cute for only $8. I did tie this velvet ribbon that I got off of Amazon and I do not suggest this velvet ribbon. It was very expensive and it's kind of sheer. Like you can see through it, it's really thin. It's like, ugh, I mean, it's not a vibe, but I tied the velvet ribbon on and I think it just looks really pretty and romantic. Okay dolls, so now we are gonna start with my bed. So on my bed ledge at the front, you guys can see I have this tray. I have my teapots and some flowers in them. You guys have seen that before. I actually ended up putting my uh, eye mask here because I just feel like this makes more sense on the tray at my bed than the cookie. I initially put a cookie here. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you saw what I did, I switched it out. Um, and then I just added this candle that I got from Home Goods, you guys. So cute. It looks like roses. How pretty is that? I definitely will not be lighting her. She's just for aesthetic purposes. On opposite side of the tray, I have these two pillows that are from Target. And then underneath them are these plaques that I got from Marshalls for only $7, you guys. This is true love. I also just have rose petals sprinkled throughout. I have some little tea light candles on the side. By the way, none of this stuff is getting lit. I'm not lighting any of it. It's just for decor purposes. So do not worry. I'm completely safe with this. Um, these vases I've had out for a while with the flowers in them for spring last year. I don't know that these are gonna stay out. I think I'm gonna switch up my decor this spring, but they're out now and I feel like they kind of match with the theme of everything. I also have fairy lights just kind of intertwined throughout all of the decor. And I just think it looks really cute and pretty and it's giving, it's giving. So moving up to the top of my bed, Right here on my bed are these roses from Forever Rose. And I just have the pink ones, really, really pretty. I am obsessed with them. I've had these since Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I've had these since October, you guys, and they are still going strong. And I just added this heart pillow from Target. At my headboard, I kept up the Christmas garland and I just added some heart um, ornaments on there and I think it looks cute and of course I turn on my pink fairy lights okay so you guys may have recognized this little dude he was up for Christmas he is my little elf on a shelf that I got from Hobby Lobby but I was like I really want to keep him out like I took him down and then I was like oh but he's so cute how can I make him Valentine's Day I just need to give him something that's Valentine's Day and then I gave him this like little DIY cookie that I made and it's just so perfect like I am obsessed with him. 
Okay, so here are the ornaments that I added. I love these so freaking much, but I just feel like it made it look a little bit more Valentine's Day with the hearts on there. I like too many around me, but 12 I ain't trying to go to county. Keep a stack, cause got paid bounty. My bitch ass soft like. On the floor, I have my cute little heart shaped slippers. I love these. These are from Burlington. They have uh, so many freaking colors, and it's by the brand Laura Ashley. I absolutely love these. Perfect for Valentine's Day, and I always have to have a pair of slippers as soon as I get out of the bed. So this wreath is from Marshalls, you guys. And I just tied the ribbon at the top in a bow. Love that. Um, and then on my nightstands, you guys, kept a lot of my trees, as you guys can see. I added this little candle from Burlington. I think it's Catherine Melandrino candle. It smells so freaking good. I added that to this little candle stand and that I got from Hobby Lobby one year. I hope you guys can see that a little bit better. And then I added this little candle. I got these squiggly candles from a candle company that I collabed with before in the past. Um, I'll see if I can find their link and put it in the description box. Also, this little heart-shaped candle. I've had these for years, and yes, I do burn these. This is from Home Goods. It still has the sticker on the bottom for $7.99. Super cute. I love the way these smell. It smells so good. I left my little reindeer slash fawn out and again added some of that Valentine's lace around her neck to just make her look a little bit more Valentine's and less Christmas. Kept this Christmas bottle brush tree out and just added some more, again, ribbon with hearts on it to give it the Valentine vibe. Then I added in, of course, flower petals all over and then a few of these homemade wax melts that I had like in the shape of a heart. Cute, I added two of them and then I also added, of course, this little tea light candle in the rose color. You guys saw these in my dressing room, so cute. Okay, dollies, we are at the final section of my room, which is my vanity. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview of everything before we go in and to detail. I have this little Ray Dunn dish here. You guys have seen that before. I added this little vase with a candle that I got from that same candle company. Um, I have this little cute Minnie Mouse soap dispenser. I use it to put like lotion inside of. I might switch it out though for acetone to remove my nail polish. I haven't decided, but it's super cute and it's perfect for Valentine's Day with the two-tone pinks and also the hearts. I have this love candle by DW Home that I got from Home Goods, and it's just sitting on like this cupcake stand that I had. I've had this for so long. Next to that are these roses that I got from Home Goods like last year, I believe, or the year before. I can't remember. I have some more of those little tea light candles, and I also put this makeup bag here, which I use to hold glitters for my nails. And then I have these little two swans. I love them. They are from Goodwill. I also have this little tray that I keep all of my cotton rounds in. I have my fan hanging here because a lot of times I will do my makeup here as well. So I use the fan to kind of dry my makeup on my face. I have these bow ornaments from Christmas that I just hung here. I feel like they still look Valentine's Day-ish. Love those. Oh, and by the way, this little shelf thing is from Target Dollar Spot. Last year, I DIY'd these. I also put like little bows on the side of them. Really, really pretty. You guys have to find ways to like make things the way that you want them because I'm telling you, these stores do not be coming through. I have my champagne toast candle here. I am not burning it because you guys already saw I'm burning another candle in my dressing room and I just don't want too many things burning in here when Pinky's taking her nap. I also have these Be My napkins here because earlier I was having some macarons on here but I ate them all. <laughs> Um, and then I have this teacup here on top of a Radon poster. This is XOXO. Um, I left out my pink nutcracker, added this little vase with all of my nail files in it. I got this from the 99 cents only store. It has a cute little glitter heart on it. I love that. Above the vanity slash nail bar, I have this clear acrylic shelf. I added these Christmas trees that I had already had out inside of these little candle holders. I think it looks a little bit different and I feel like 
like it looks Valentine's Day. The only difference thing that I might do that may be a little bit different is I might add bows to the top of them just to make them a little bit more Valentine's Day. But other than that, I think they look pretty cute. Also this little ornament here, he's like a little love bird and I just thought he looked cute there so I added him. And then this XOXO sign is from 99 Cents Only Store. They had them this year and last year. I just added this love plaque at the top next to my hand sanitizers and I think it looks pretty good. I kind of love the way this came out. I really was not expecting it to come out so freaking good. I thought, okay, my nail bar is gonna look a hot mess for Valentine's Day because I have no idea what I'm doing. But it actually came out pretty cute and I really do like it and I enjoy doing my nails here and also my makeup. So yeah, that is everything on my nail bar. Okay dolls, I'm sorry if it's really bright at the moment. I am standing directly in front of the ring light, but I just wanted to give you guys the last final little overview of my Valentine's Day bedroom. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. Please do stay tuned for the giveaway because I will be doing a giveaway in this video. Giveaway time! Okay dollies, it is the end of the video. It is the time and the moment you have been waiting for for the Valentine's Day giveaway. I have everything that I have for you guys in your Valentine's basket in this little basket right here. All of the details for this giveaway and entry guidelines will be listed in the description box, so be sure to check there for all of the details. I will not get into that now because I do not want to tell you guys the wrong information. So head to the description box so check it out down there first off is this cute little doggy plushie he's so cute isn't she oh my god i love her next i picked up these hot cold glitter ipads they look so so cute um they're gold with glitter all inside of them super cute for having a galentine's day or just a girl's day in or even like a pamper day these are perfect i also have a pair of these in the pink color i also picked you dolls up a rose water foaming mask and what would galentine be without some candy so i also have you guys one of my favorite candies this is the sour patch kids but these are in the hearts so super cute i had to let you guys try my favorite candy and then i also got you guys this plushy keychain that says cutie pie so we can be twins because you guys know i have one of these as well and of course this would not be a giveaway of mine if i did not include some type of fragrance so of course i'm going to be giving you guys this rose water and ivy bath and body works fragrance mist she cute the fragrance notes in here are soft rose petals rain kiss ivy and creamy sandalwood i love the packaging on this and i feel like it is perfect for my floral girlies and some of my gourmand girlies who might want to get into some florals for valentine's day i also included this little cute heart of valentine's day bubble bath i would take it out of the package but i don't want to because i feel like that's a little bit unsanitary before i send it to you guys but how cute is it it's like this pink heart so cute Hope you guys can see that. Also picked you guys up some cute heart-shaped elastics. How cute are these? Oh my God, just for like decor on your vanity or to wear as a bracelet, love it. I'm also throwing in this lipstick. I thought it was a lip balm, that's why I picked it up, but it's a lipstick, it's in this red color, super cute. I also picked you guys up this wallflower. I hope you guys like wallflowers. I know not everybody uses them, but Bath and Body Works I did have these new wallflowers in the scent among the clouds. So I definitely wanted to get this for you guys. So cute. This is their new Valentine's Day scent. So I hope you dolls like it. To me, it sounds like cotton candy clouds, but with more fruit and less cotton candy. But you dolls tell me what you think in the comments below if you tried this or not. And lastly, I'm gonna be gifting you dolls this cute Betsy Johnson wallet. So pretty. I honestly want to keep this myself. Of course, you guys, I wanna keep it so bad. I saw the floral pattern print and I was like, this would be perfect for spring. I just love that. It's like black and white stripes with pink hearts and stars. So super cute for the springtime. And I just love these lips. I honestly, I desperately wanna keep this. I also will be including a card, of course, cause I love to send you guys little letters and notes. And how cute is this puppy Valentine's Day card? Look at him. 
so cute. Don't forget to check the description box to get all of the details. I love you dolls. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were inspired. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you dolls in the next video. Bye. Bye dolls. Happy Valentine's Day.